Namaste. In this video, we are going to discuss about a Gauss elimination method to solve the given linear equation. Okay. And in previous video, we have used the normal Gauss elimination method. So, in this video, we will be discussing about the partial pivoting on Gauss elimination method. Okay. So, given equation is 4x plus y plus z equal to 6, 3x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 7, and 8x plus y plus z equals to 10. Okay. So, in partial pivoting method, we have to consider the first column only. Okay. So, this is first column. So, in first column, the largest coefficient is 8. 4, 3, and 8 is 8. So, we interchange the this equation with this one. So, that means it can be written as 8x plus y plus z equals to 10 3x plus 2y plus 2z equals to 7 4x plus y plus z equals to 6 we have just arranged the equation okay by considering the value of sorry coefficient of x on d the largest coefficient is 8 so we interchange the equation upward and again we write the augmented matrix okay so augmented matrix it is 8 1 1 and 10 yes 3 2 2 and 7 4 1 1 and 6 so this is our augmented matrix and from this on we follow the previous rule we make 3 4 and 1 as 0 so for making the this term as 0 3 and 8 the LCM is 24 yes so we have to multiply this by 8 so R2 is converted into 0 by multiplying 8 R2 yes 8 into 3 is 24 minus R1 is multiplied by 3. 8 3 is a 24, 3 is a 24. Okay, so 0. Again, R3 is converted into 4 and 8. So, the LCM is 8. That means, we have to multiply R3 by 2 minus R1. So, you can use it the, into the calculator. Okay, alpha x is equals to supposing the r2 as b r3 as c and r1 as a as in previous video yes so 8 b minus 3 a okay this is one equation next y equals to 2 alpha b minus sorry not b it is c since r3 so it is c alpha c minus okay alpha a now we have to calculate the value so i am writing the upward part only 8 1 1 10 okay now what is the value of b here it is 3 what is the value of a 8 what is the value of c 4 so it becomes 0 okay and 0 again okay. where what is it okay and it's gone okay i'm writing the equation again mm, alpha x alpha equals to 8 times b minus 3 times a is to uh, alpha y is equals to 2 times alpha c minus alpha a okay calculate so i have calculated the 3 4 now using the 2 and 1 so b equals to 2 a equals to 1 and c equals to 1 
it gives 13 1 again b equals to 2 a equals to 1 and c equals to 1 so it gives again 13 as well as 1 yes same value again we are using 7 and 6 is so 7 a is 10 c is 6 so it is 26 and 2 so this is the new augmented matrix we get from by redoxer okay now we have to convert this one into zero so r3 r3 is the LCM between 13 and 1 is 13. So we have to multiply the R3 by 13 and subtract with R2. Okay. Alpha. Okay. X is equals to 13 times C R3 minus alpha B. Okay. Calculate. So let us copy the above. 13 13 26 okay so it is 0 surely so 1 okay c is 1 and b is 13 so it becomes 0 c is 1 b is 13 so it becomes 0 and c is 2 b is 26 it becomes 10 C is 2 B is 26 let us see okay 2 B is 26 it becomes 10 okay so the reduced matrix is like this and by backward substitution we get z equals to 0 and 13 y is equals to 26 therefore y equals to 2 and 8 x plus y equals to 10 sorry the so y equals to we get x equals to 1 so therefore x equals to 1 y equals to 2 and z equals to 0 okay so in this way we have solved the given linear equation by using partial pivoting method of Gauss simulation and in next video we will be solving the linear equation by using complete pivoting method thank you and bye bye